Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and we are here with Scrappy Tales Craft, and it's an Instagram hop, so hop, hop, hop. So make sure you go to Instagram and check out all the wonderful creations. Today, this Instagram hop is all about the new release, uh, Life is a Story collection that Sabrina has created. It's filled with so much. Um bookmarks and book corners and bookshelves and pop-ups, flowers, you name it, it is there. The die set that we are going to be working with today is Stitched Daisies, and we're just going to create a beautiful cluster of daisies across the front of our 5x7 card panel. So I dug into my scraps, which is perfect and just started die cutting away. Now what's great with these flowers, you can layer them. So you can create two layers, three layers, four layers, um, and there's different centers as well that you could also give shape to if you wanted um, to add even more dimension. So I just, threw, there's three different sizes of the daisies. There's a large, a medium, and small. So I did three of the small, one of the medium, and three of the large. So we are just getting those together. And with this die set, there is a great sentiment. It simply says thank. There's also a butterfly that's available. I chose not to add the butterfly today. Um, and what's great is the font. I love the font of the thanks. It kind of gives it like a groovy feel, um, a retro feel to it which i think is wonderful as well we're just getting the last few cards together and just slightly uh, shifting the two layers um, to get a solid image of the daisy and then using the center um, for that flower i'm going to be pulling in my card base and we're going to go directly to the card base um, we don't always have to have a card panel that we're working on and I was going to use my grid mat to say okay this is the size of the panel let's not go over that um, but I just chose to pull that in I'm going to start by laying down the greenery that I have um, getting that set in place I cut the greens uh, from two different shades of green cardstock from my stash again dug into those scraps just using those up as much as I can and then we're just going to place glue in certain areas so that we can get these pieces adhered. I am working directly up onto the um, card panel, but I don't want it to stick yet to the card panel. I want to be able to tuck things up underneath if I have to, uh, such as other flowers um, or anything like that. So I'm just putting glue strategically in some places. Um, so that the leaves will come up and stick to the flower. It's just another way to do this. You could certainly lay your flowers out and then use press and seal. Um, I do not work well with press and seal. I know it is me. Um, for some reason, whenever I use it, it tears at my cardstock. Um, it's not easy to release from my cardstock for me. And that's probably because I do create with a heavy hand. Nothing is hurt during the filming of these videos. Um, but, I mean, I do apply some pressure uh, when it comes to that. So, it's probably me pressing too hard to make sure everything's stuck to that page once I flip it over. Um, but this worked just well for me. Again, just putting some glue into some corners. Um, with the leaves and then just making sure that I can get those flowers on top. Now I know there's going to be some areas that are overhanging from the card base and that's fine. We're going to trim all of those away once we are ready and set. So we've got the last flower going on to our cluster and now we're just going to see what needs to be attached um, securely so that it doesn't, you know, fall apart as I start flipping this upside down because we're going to do that as well. 
Now, I was thinking I was going to do a see-through card, um, but I chose against it. So that's something you can certainly do with this. Um, just take all these die cuts and connect them to a hinge on the front of your card, and it would make a beautiful, beautiful card front. Um, but I wanted the solid background. I like the ivory um, and how that pulls this through and just makes all of these pastel colors just come to life. Just adding some glue underneath along the edges to those leaves so they don't lift up after they are trimmed. And then once they're secured, we will trim them. So I'm bringing in my long shears. It's perfect for this and running right up alongside of the card base. Just remember the scissors are sharp. Just say. I die cut my thanks five times from heavyweight white cardstock and I'm just going and layered those up. So I created a little chipboard sentiment to give some dimension and then I just placed that over the flowers. We're going to add some gems to the center of our flowers and we're just going to add one gem and it's going to go off to the side. Now even though these are pink, um, they're going to look different once they sit on top of the uh, dark gray that I chose for the center of the flowers. And we're just going to put one in each flower. And here is our finished project. So I, as always, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, by all means, create your own beautiful floral backdrop. The products that I used will be listed down below in the video description. And make sure you do go over to Instagram uh, to my post. It's listed down below so that you can see the next person in the hop and also see everybody else. Um, also know that uh, she is doing a giveaway so there's going to be two $25 store gift cards given away. And you want to make sure that you comment in along in the Instagram posts and uh, the winner. And you want to do that by April 27th to enter to win. And the winners will be announced on the Scrappy Tales Instagram page um, just around August 28th or shortly thereafter. So I hope to see you there. Good luck. Remember to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, make sure you ring the bell for your notifications. I would love to have you here. And most of all, enjoy the process. Enjoy creating your art. And remember to always be creative every day in everything that you do. And until the next one, I'll be talking to you. Take care.